Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And today our topic is, we die for Jesus. What is it, dying for Jesus? It is to give up our old selves, to turn away from the world and from Babylon to die for our sins, to give up our sins, to give up our old way of life, to change completely. But first, before we change, we repent. We recall all of our sins and we come before our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and we repent. And after we have repented of our sins, then we change our life completely. All the old sins will not be done again. This is true repentance, a change of life, not only a lip service, but a change of life. That is what the Lord is asking you to do when you say, you have to die of, your, of yourself. You have to take down your old life and walk now the narrow and true path, the holy path towards Mount Zion. Dying for Jesus is what every true Christian should do. Not only a lip service of repentance and then go back and do the same sins over and over again. No, totally changing your life. It's like you're killing your old self and then you go and bury it in a graveyard very deep. And when you have covered it with the soil, then you go and clean your area, make it clean, white as snow, and then you start on the new path. Without the old sins, without everything from the past, because all that was forgiven to you. Because you have repented. But you have not only repented, but you have changed your way of life. That also includes your careers, how you treated your family, how you do your daily life, what you have done before. Let's say every Friday you are going to drink beer. That maybe should change. Think about that. Or you like to, to spend all your time fishing instead to be with your family. A change of life is necessary. And when you change your life and come close to the Lord, then you will also get the compassion in your heart. And then you feel the need to assist the poor, the needy, the nameless and faceless. And then you come together in love, unity and support in his holy tents, in the assemblies of love and righteousness, our societies of the rose, where you walk a new life. And on that path that you walk there, you will then reach Mount Zion. And at Mount Zion, at the sixth seal, you will be raptured into paradise. So first, think about your sins, then truly repent them before our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and then change your life so that you do not do the old sins again. Be a new person. That's what is called to be born again. The old has died, you have a birthday. Celebrate your birthday in a new life. This is what it means about dying for Jesus. Taking the cross as Jesus has done it and walk it for other people, not only for yourself, but for other people in the same way as Jesus has done it. He has done it for all of humanity, but you can do it for a few, few people around you in your neighborhood. Take your cross and walk the path that Jesus also walked. Teach them, preach to them, bring them to righteousness, show them the truth. Let them come together in an assembly of love and righteousness. Make Bible studies and every day you go forth and lift up the needy, do a daily sacrifice of love. The love of the Father, show the love of the Father, of our Father, of the Lord Jehovah, force into your neighborhood every day. This is a true Christian's walk. You have died to the old self and start a new life. And this is what Triple Grace and what societies of the Rose are all about. We want that you die for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and start a new life with all of us together who are doing the same, so that we can share, that we can support one another, and that we can love one another, 
as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has commanded us, brotherly love, and love the Father above all else and your neighbor as yourself. But to do that, your old self must die, and that is dying for Jesus. Thank you that you have listened to this, the, to this uh, topic in the Great Exodus series, and I hope you liked it. And if you are guided by the Holy Spirit to sow into our ministry, that will help to bring more videos out to all the people, so that they get an understanding what Jesus truly wants from you, and how to find the narrow path, and how to walk it towards Mount Zion. Thank you for your help, and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. The Lord will bless you. The whole days of your life, if you repent and change your life. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.